so 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 what did you think when when Danger Mouse came out with the Grey album? What, what was your reaction? Here we go. I was hating on that joint. I feel like mom was better. Of course. Surprise, surprise, I feel like mom was better. But I just feel like his joint was like a novelty joint. And big up to, to Danger Mouse, you know, Norris Barkley, all that stuff. Cast, uh, it was a lot of brown album, re black album remixes. But right. I feel like mine stands out for a reason. It's, you know, it's not for no reason that people is like, yo. Even though mine joint don't get the most light, like the Danger Mouse is still like, cause that's cause it was Beatles. But like, but sampled the Beatles. But, but I, I feel I feel that yours. Your version has legs. Like nobody's nobody talks about the gray album anymore. But your but the brown album is still talked about as still being sold. Yeah, um I mean just classic joints, man. That's all uh, that's my what I strive to make is joints that Did anybody from Rockefeller even try to get in contact with you to not that I know of, nah, ain't nobody. I heard that cats heard it, like Jay Z heard it, Dash, whoever. But you know, nobody reached out. No, but and like like Rockefeller called my phone, like yo, we heard that remix you did. Come get this chain, like it, ain't not, none of that happened. Like none of that movie stuff. That doesn't happen in real life. I don't even know what to say about this product. Like it's how how has your production changed since the Brown album, or has it? Um, it's changed a lot. Um, back then it was more like a one. I only had one style. Like I had like the kick, snare, hi hat, samples, bass line, you know, programming type of style. But it's a lot of other. I learned a lot. I was only only was making beats seriously like maybe two or three years before I did this. So I only did I did this project in like a week, just on some like let me knock this out so I can get back to regular whatever else I'm you know because this wasn't really like a priority. It was like because I told you before the, the knife wonder Nas joint like. It felt like I was biting. I was like, I don't want to do a remix joint. Knife Wonder just did the remix joint. Let's bite. Like, I don't want to do that. But then, like, Rosenberg, Quartermain was like, yo, you should do it. You know, it's cool that I did it now. I look, I look back on it, like, because it was a good buzz, you know. Right. Good for the buzz. But, uh, you know. Shout out to Redefinition. Side A. And side A. So like you got side A and then you flip it over and then it's side A again. But it's not really the same thing. It's it's a, it's a glitch in the matrix. I, I don't know if all the records are like this. Probably so. Probably but so. um it's only about five hundred of these anyway. Show them the cover. Word up. So Joe Buck, you know what I mean? Big head on the back. Small head on the back, front, pause. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, man. It's coming out on Fat Beast, right? I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's distributed. Out now. It's, it's, it's yeah. out right now. Shout out to Fat Beast, distributed by Fat Beast. Just got a check from Fat Beats. Cracking. But um, yeah, man. Brown album, Mr. Mental, shout out to, you know what I mean? Jay Z. Never work with Jay Z. Might not ever work with Jay Z, but, you know, this might be the closest ever, you know, get to him, but it's all good. Like, cause I think this joint right here, this is the December 4th joint right here, right? December 4th, yeah. I, th I think this is the most popular. Yeah. Th this, this might be the most played joint off the Brown album to me. Well, it's the most that I played. Yeah. Personally, that's what's up. That's Probably because I I like the song. 
I, I like what he was saying song. in the song, yeah. 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 I, I can relate to a lot of things in the song. Family. And, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. It's strange, though, because the beat, the, you know, it just so happened that the beat fit. Like, this beat was like, uh, I talk about it on the commentary joint, but this beat was like, you load up sounds. Say you like, you know, because you make beats, so you like, say on, on this joint, like, you load up. You load up a beat and then you finish with that beat and you load up another beat, right. but then you forget and keep the sequence from the other beat. Yeah. And like stuff yeah. still be sounding right. You're like, yo. Like that's what happened with this joint. Like wow. it was like the bass line wasn't in it, but like it was two different it's two different samples. Like it's crazy, cause completely different genres, but like they match. And right. Like I just threw that. I was like, yo, this sound right. Like and then the bass line put the bass line with it. It just fit. Martial Law, shout out to Martial Law on the on the the brown album version, not just the instrumentals, but the actual joint, like he doing the cuts on it. Tight. Um, but yeah man, that's that's how that came out. It wasn't really like this project came from you know, Rosenberg and Quarterman, like, yo, you should do... Rosenberg had the, had the acapellas. This was when he was still at University of Maryland. Um, I think he was still at University of Maryland. Um, and uh, he, was, he had the acapellas on vinyl. And, uh, so that's why on the, on the Brown album, when you get the CD or whatever, like, the, the vocal sound might sound ashy or whatever. Cause it's like coming off the vinyl. So did, did you did you put the vocals in some sort of software and then match it up with the with the beat? Nah, I put it in the good old car AW joint. Um, all them joints, pretty much all the stuff you ever heard. My joint is, I don't know if it's conked out now. It might be dead. I'm having some issues with it, but pretty much all the music that you ever heard me come out with, I do what I do. Brown album, the Al Green stuff, the Sean Bourne album, uh, whatever, you know what I mean? 99% um, of my releases come off of this machine, no Pro Tools, no Logic, no computer. It's digital, but it's still like a old school, people don't consider this like technology for real, like, you know, right. consider it like throwback whatever but so as much problems as I had with this if you got Pro Tools you had way more problems your hard drive crashing I, I know people like you know you know Pro Tools like Logic whatever the joints crash you lose everything you know what I mean but with this it's like you just you swap out the hard drive it take like a laptop hard drive but it's, it's acting up now though, but I've had it over 12, 13 years. So, ain't nobody had Pro Tools for 12, 13 years and the joint ain't crash. You know what I mean? Right. So, this joint outlasted all that futuristic technology. So, you know. But yeah, this is, you know, all the stuff I recorded, This it was on the, you know, Yamaha joint. People be clowning me. I don't care no more. People be clowning. They see the PTO one. I, you know, like when I was talking to Jay Sana earlier, and I was like, you know, I got one of the first beat making videos on YouTube. Right. And you know, they saw the PTO one in it, and I remember all the comments is like, yo, you gotta, you got the Doomark joint. Like, shout out to Pete Rock because I saw the Scratch magazine, and in the back of the joint he was testing out the PTO one. You know what I mean? Shout out to Scratch Magazine. And um, I got that joint because Pete Rock got it. You know what I mean? That's, you know, so. And he said this was the best one. He was going out digging, listening to records. Like, it's portable. You got the batteries. Or you could plug it in, whatever. It's not a commercial for Newmark, but, you know, they got the newer ones out now with the USB and all that. But right. I remember that, though. Like, I had this, you know, the, my, my trackboard and. The 505, and now when you go online and see people's beat making videos, it's the whole the whole setup is my setup. Like 
they got their drum machine, they got the little small drum machine, and then they got their whatever Pro Tools, whatever track, whatever they're using, and they got their, you know, and they got the PTO-1. Nine times out of ten, they got a PTO-1. And, you know, I bought this in Japan out with Grapp and Roddy Rod, you know what I mean, in like 2003. So, and people was knocking, people was knocking it. Like, yo, you got, he using that? You can't get the right sound quality. I'm like, yo, it's samples. It's like, what are you, it's crackly records. Like, right, right. What do you mean sound quality? What, what are you talking about? So, you know, I notice all that stuff. People, you know, people don't think I notice that stuff. But, I, you know, I read the comments and I see what people are saying. I'm not stupid. Like, I know, but I don't care. That's the thing. Like, right. if you know what you're doing... And you getting busy, it's like you blocking all that out. Like, yo, word, that's how you feel? I'm still over here getting it cracking. Like, so, that don't really, it don't really matter. As long as what you coming out with, it's people with million dollar studios not coming out with the, sh the joints that I'm coming out with. So, I must be doing something right. So Right. That, that has a handle on everything too, right? So you can carry it? The, the trackboard or the... The, the, oh yeah, it's got yeah. a little, you know, it covers up. Yeah. You got the, the little case. I don't know where the case, the cover is and stuff. You take batteries and you got the little cool, you know, you know, old school big the the big bird joint. Yeah. But this 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 basically uh upgraded app like with the little portable little kid joints that if you take if I take it out the you know you take the the plug out it'll play out this big speaker in here. Right, like, right, right. It's old school like. I mean, that's a that's a good digging companion. Wow. Yeah, it's funny though, cause I never went digging with it. Shout out to Heck Dolo though. I I remember we went to we went to Arbutus. I brought the joint, but I didn't realize how many batteries it took. So it take like eight D batteries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't even take mine out the car, but he had to. He literally had the the Big Bird joint, like the straight up. <laughs> he's old school. Like he had the the. The OG joint, so he was like, yo, we just, we just use my joint. That joint take like C batteries, like regular, that's a little kid joint. Yeah. So, we use that joint, but, you know, I never really went digging with it, but I used it to make beats with stuff, so, you know. Just got the need the needle replaced, you know, a little plastic needle joint. Sounds nice, though. <laughs> for the PTO one but but yeah man Brown Album Instrumentals is out I don't know how this is going to get edited up but Brown Album Instrumentals is out redefinition record slash low budget you see the low budget logo we still trying to make it happen um yeah man shout out to Raw Poetic the Raw Poetic is out now the vinyl's dropping for that uh Concentrated maneuvers. Um, yeah, man. Redefinition. Low budget. I don't know what the future is, but you know, as for now, that's the joints coming out right now. I got some more stuff coming. The Son Mackey. You know, low budget records slash L Adrenaline. I don't know when that's coming out, but it's been a long rocky road with that. We're not gonna get into that, but coming soon but right now you know brown album choice is out now just crushing man we just got just crushing just trying to trying to stay put putting stuff out like i don't want to be one of those dudes that what's up with cat brown like you know remember that joint he had out that was tight like right. i don't want to be one of those dudes like not yet at least until i give up like but you know even if I'm not dropping vinyl, I'm gonna still be dropping some stuff online or SoundCloud or something. Like y'all got the heartbreak joints. Like I randomly put that out earlier this year. Like, you know, so I'ma still whatever man, I'ma still just be putting something out to just show cats still out here crushing dudes. I don't you know, like 
Because they say, you know, cats are sleeping on cab, you underrated. Uh, it's like, all right, whatever. I'm still putting music out. Like, I'm not over here like, oh, I'm underrated. Like, nobody does that. Like, it's like I'm putting music out. Like, if the people that know, they know about it. And then the people that don't know, eventually they will know about it. So. Now, I was, I was here earlier when Jay Side and I was over here and we were talking and like we let whole albums play of like Chicago and like how often do you just let the whole album play when you s Yeah, not anymore. You don't do that a lot anymore. That's but that's what we grew up with on some old head stuff. Right. Like that's right. what we You couldn't change the record when your parents was listening to the music. Oh no. We you know, eight tracks. You can't change right. kids just can take the eight track out and it don't work like records like you know it's a different media like records was meant to be like all right that's why your record had to be dope because it was like yo you ain't trying to throw on a record you with a chick and you throw on the record then and you gotta like, skip to the middle you like hold up i don't like this song <laughs> hold up and you with a chick like like come on man like nah you throw that marvin Gaye on you like top joint bow only time you getting up is to do this bow flip it over Right. And then bow, all right, cracking again. But it wasn't like you had to make, but even growing up with the tapes, like EPMD would come out. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, like, yo, EPMD come out, you just at the store getting the tape. You don't, you didn't, I didn't have to hear nothing. Right. Like, I didn't right. have to hear a single. Even if they had a video, that's cool, but I didn't have to know that it was where EPMD got to join out. I'm at Sam Goody after, getting it. After like, their first CD, you you cut that this shit just up. Exactly. GP. Exactly. Because it was like, oh, EPMD, you know it's going to be tight. Like, right. That's why when I want people to see my joint, be like, oh, hold up, Kev Brown? Oh, I know this joint is tight. Let me just get that joint. Like, That's pretty much the whole, what branding is. Like, Not even to get on some whatever business stuff, but like, it's just like, yo... But that's what it is. At the end of the day, it's like, yo, you see the person, or you see the person's face, like, hold up, I know them. They put out tight stuff. Or what? It's like whoever else, like any other product, whatever. Black & Decker, you need a drill. You go to Sears, it's like, oh, Black & Decker, I heard about them. They nice with it. Let me get this Black & Decker joint, or whatever, you know? So it's the same thing with anything else. Like when you hear Picasso, you don't think whack. You don't think right. horrible art. You think about classic, you know, all of that. Sistine Chapel and all that. So I want the same thing when you see my journey. You're like, oh, I don't know who this is. Even if it's a random artist, like, but you look on the credit and be like, oh, I don't know who this is. Joe Schmo, whoever. But then it's like, oh, Kev Brown produced. That's back when we was in the store. You know who... We didn't know who a door was. Right. Remember that, white yeah. boy? But then you look on the credit, you'd be like, produced by Pete Rock. You'd be like, all right, let me check this <laughs> out then. Like, that's automatic. That's what. But it just so happens that the artist is dope and the production is dope. It's like, all right, they're not going to let you down. You know right. what I mean? Well, when I, when, I was, when I was buying physical records, I would buy everything produced by DJ Premier. Everything produced by Pete Rock. Cause you knew it was automatically like, yo, this is gonna be tight. Even if I don't like the lyricist rapping over it, the instrumental is yes. on here, so yes. I'm gonna be over here, slow motion head rock. You know what I mean? Like, right. Running that joint back, like even like the uh, the stress. Shout out to Lars Professor. I met Lars Professor. Wow, I should have. When we went to, you know what I mean? Was you there at the Red Rocks? I was there. I at the there. at the joint, like I should have took my stress. I got the cassette, the stress single, yeah, with the remix, the Lars Professor remix. Stupid, like, and the original is rocking, but the remix is it's a whole nother song. You know how they used to be like a remix, yeah, but it's a whole nother song. Re remix now just means throw yeah. four more niggas on yep, top of the same song. exact same beat, beat, like everything. But back then it was like a whole nother beat, like everything. Right. It might be the same lyrics. But the whole beat is different. Or it could be like a Bad Boy remix how, you know, like it, it was a remix, but the beat was different, a little different, and then it had whole different lyrics on top of it. But, you know, that's just like, 
anytime you hear my music, you basically hearing a piece of my life. Like you hearing like what I grew up on. You hearing something, some type of influence or whatever. Like that's pretty much it. Like, like with the Jay Z stuff, it was like, yo, what if Jay Z was here? Like you here now, and Jay Z was like, yo, I'm trying to kick some rhymes. Like what you got? You got some beats? Like, like if I produced a black album, you know what I mean? Like if I was like. This is what I wanted to hear, like, to, right. to, to sound like. Uh, instead of, you know, we used to hearing Jay-Z over the glossy beats, over the, the shiny. We don't want to hear that. Like, a person like me, I don't want to hear that. I want to hear... I want to hear the struggle. The primo joints. Yeah, yeah. like, I want to hear the joints. Like, I want to hear the joints. Like, and he know how to do the joints, but he not doing them. You know what I mean? Because he give you a little piece Picasso joint, like he know how to get busy over the stuff that we like, but yeah. he only that stuff doesn't sell. So, you know, but Jay Z yep, could do it and it would sell. They, That's he's the one person that could do it. Like yo, I'm gonna just be dropping knowledge this whole album. Look, and when, it would still sell. When when Jay Z did the blueprint, everybody said, "Oh, we gotta go back to sampling." Exactly. Like he can do whatever he wants. Yeah, he, he dropped the black album. Rock, he was like, you know what? No more jerseys. I'm rocking button ups. Next thing you know, everybody rocking button up shirts and jeans and dress shoes. Come on, like that's that's the real power of the music, like the influence of the. That tells you you can change people's minds. Not only the way they dress, but you can change up here too. But he don't really go there. You know what I mean? Like, cause he try to like maneuver to you know ride the fence or whatever. Fence. So. But he could put out whatever he wants, and that's going to be whatever he puts out is going to be that itch. Or like, like Kanye as well. Yeah, exactly. Like Kanye saying, if Kanye went back, Kanye saying it ain't Ralph though. Not to go back in time, but like him saying it ain't Ralph though. It's like him saying, like you know what I mean. If it ain't white, it ain't right. You know what I mean? Like because yeah. that's the white companies. He trying to be like the white companies. Like he was like it ain't Ralph though. Like. It's like, yo, make your own. Like, you ain't gotta... Nah, I didn't mean to get on Kanye. Pick up the Kanye, whatever. But, but if, if Kanye went back to sampling on his own music, he'd kill the game. Yeah, who knows, man. And, and then people people would go right back to buying They NPCs. would be back on that style again. Yeah. yeah. That's, you know, the main, the big people influence, it, it trickles the down masses. and influence everybody. It's hard to be the opposite, to be like the dude making this type of stuff and trying to like push it up, shine through all of the other people that's super shining. So, you know, that's why it's like, yo, it's just, I'm gonna just do what I'm doing. Like, that's it. Like, I can't, I'm not like my new, even with my new project, I'm not, it's not like, come on, man, I'm underground, it's underground hip hop. Like, I'm not trying to get radio play. Who's trying to get radio play? Like, are you serious?